the next point it is a criteria of classification see that criteria we if we want to uh, segregate anything we will be decide some criteria uh, if we will be we think on uh, classify all the students so out of them we will be decide to segregate the girls one side and boys one side the taller one one side and the shorter one one side so and in that way we will be decide first the criteria afterward we will be decide how they will be classified so to classify the animals they describe a uh, five uh, criteria out of them this criteria the grade of organization second one is the body symmetry the germ layers and body cavity and the last one is the body segmentation so what it means actually the grade organization see in any organism the organism is graded on the basis of their uh, their cells their number of cells and their functions so the grade of organization second one is the body symmetry it is a it is all about see uh, if you want to cut any lemon lemon has the circular uh, sphere and this sphere will be cut any side it will gives a two equal halves so it is a kind of a symmetry where we can cut into a two equal halves so the next is the germ layer germ layer in that germ cells the cells are having a number of layers and on the basis of that germ layers some of them are uh, diploid and some of them are triploid so on the basis of that we will be describe the germ layers and next is the body cavity so in the primary stages in that uh, when the fetus of the zygote is formed after that zygote formation the body cavity is present in all over the animals but once the organisms are in the real scenario jab wo grow karenge jab wo bade ho jayenge at that time the body cavity is seen in some animals is uh, uh, not seen in the some animals so this is the another criteria for the classification and the last one is the body segmentation a uh, similar unit a set of unit is known as segment and this segment is considered as a criteria for the classification of animals so we will start with the first one the grade organization in that grade organization so first of all we will be uh, see how the body of organism is formed firstly all the organisms are formed their single cell afterward the group of cell is known as tissue the group of tissue is known as the organ and group of organ is known as the organ system so according to this four stages the grade organization also has a four different types the first one is the cellular second one is the cell tissue third one is the tissue organ and the last one is the organ tissue in that first criteria the cellular those organisms are showing a cell level matlab वो यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म मोस्टली हो सकते हैं तो ऑल यूनिसेलुलर ऑर्गेनिज्म आर कैटेगराइज अंडर दिस क्राइटेरिया इज द सेलुलर लेवल सेकंड इज सेल एंड टिश्यू अब देखो अ ग्रुप ऑफ सेल्स इज व्हिच मींस अ टिश्यू बट दिस टिश्यू इज नॉट कंफर्म फॉर एनी पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन दिस टिश्यू इज परफॉर्मिंग ऑल द फंक्शंस ऑफ दैट पार्टिकुलर that's why this organization cell tissue organization is the second criteria for the classification third one is tissue organ see in number of animals the tissue are formed but those tissues are organized for a particular function only isme sare function ye sare tissue perform nahi kare तो दिस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज नोन एज टिश्यू ऑर्गन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ ग्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड द लास्ट एंड द इंपॉर्टेंट इज द ऑर्गन सिस्टम ग्रेड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सी लाइक द ह्यूमन बींग द वी हैव द डिफरेंट ऑर्गन सिस्टम एंड द डिफरेंट ऑर्गन सिस्टम परफॉर्म्स अ डिफरेंट फंक्शंस सो इट इज कम्स अंडर द ऑर्गन सिस्टम ठीक है नेक्स्ट है बॉडी सिमेट्री 
uh, already we have discussed about the what is the symmetry it is an imaginary axis of cutting where we can divide that organism into two equal halves so on the basis of that body symmetry the organisms are categorized under three criteria the first one is the asymmetrical second one is the radial and third one is the bilateral the first one is the asymmetrical asymmetrical matlab hi hota hai no imaginary axis of line ki jahan se hum kisi organism ko exactly two halves mein cut kar sakte hain ab iska best example kya hoga the well studied amoeba amoeba ka structure irregular shape hota hai to irregular shape mein aisa koi bhi hum axis fix nahi kar sakte ki jahan se us amoeba ko hum equal to half mein divide kar sakte hain so so it is a asymmetrical next is the radial symmetry in that radial symmetry uh, when we are discussing about the body symmetry we had discussed about one example is the lemon or the any um, circular sphere which will be divided uh, equally in n numbers of uh, imaginary axis <coughs> sorry <coughs> this radial symmetry shown by the circular one okay the next one is the bilateral as we know the human and the other animals they show me only one imaginary axis of line when we cut that animal into a like this a longitudinal section at that time we have an two equal halves but aisa aur koi axis nahi hai ki jahan se hum two equal half mein human being ko mammalian ko divide kar sakte so all mammals comes under the bilateral symmetry theek okay? hai next is the germ layer already we discussed about germ layer germ is a sex determining cells or the sex cells ko bhi hum germ cells kehte hain these germ cells having two types diploblastic and triploblastic diploblastic having an ectoderm and the endoderm two layers only yahan pe mesoderm layer absent and wahi mesoderm uh, triploblastic me present hote so on the basis of that diploblastic and triploblastic will be uh, categorized some animals into diploblastic and triploblastic the second last one is the body cavity the body cavity is also known as the coelomate or the coelo coelo means the body cavity so on the basis of the body cavity the organisms are divided into an three types u coelomate zero coelomate and a coelomate to u ka matlab hi hota hai jaise ki humne already discuss kiya tha prokaryotic and eukaryotic mein u ka matlab hota hai true those animals have a true body cavity are known as u coelomate those animals showing a pseudo coelomate cavity pseudo ka matlab hamesha false hota hai जो एनिमल्स या जो ऑर्गेनिज्म अपनी खुद की कैविटी ना होते हुए भी अगर रिक्वायर्ड है तो वो अपनी कैविटी बना लेता है उसे कहते हैं सिडोसिलोमेट अब यू सिलोमेट का सिंपल एग्जांपल अगर हमने देखा तो हम एक खुद एक एग्जांपल है यू सिलोमेट का सिडोसिलोमेट का एग्जांपल है स्नेक देखो स्नेक नॉर्मल कंडीशन पे इस इस साइज का हो सकता है लेकिन जैसे ही वो किसी रैट को किसी फ्रॉक को ग्रैप कर लेता है तो उसकी साइज इतनी से इतनी बन जाती है सो हाउ इट विल बी एपल्स इट शोज एंड सीरो सिलोमेट एंड द लास्ट वन इज असिलोमेट असिलोमेट का मतलब होता है द ऑर्गेनिज्म शो एनी बॉडी हेल्थ सो दोज आर द फोर क्राइटेरिया एंड द फिफ्थ वन क्राइटेरिया is a very minor criteria but we will be discuss about that the body segmentation segment matlab hota hai a uh, small similar units and this small similar units are seen in some animals and it is uh, not seen in the other animals this is in the <coughs> different segments so the category under the two criteria segmentation and non segment segmented are non segmented सेगमेंटेड का बेस्ट एग्जांपल है अर्थ ठीक है एंड सेकंड वन इज द नॉन सेगमेंट